Do you ever feel like you're just running in circles, getting nowhere? Like you're trying to scream, but no sound comes out. It's as if you're facing these huge, unmovable mountains in your life, and no matter how hard you try, they just won't move. What if I told you that you have the strength within you to move these mountains? Does this sound a bit far-fetched? Keep watching this video and you'll find out. I came across a powerful quote that really hit home for me, and I wanna share it with you. The thing that separates a successful person from others isn't a lack of strength or knowledge, but a lack of will. That's quite deep, isn't it? It's basically a wake up call telling you to believe in yourself big time. Now you might be thinking, move mountains? Seriously, Muhammad? But hold on, it's not just wishing and poof, your dreams come true. Absolutely not. It's about creating that unstoppable, yes, I can spirit inside you. A spirit that empowers you to find the power and energy to achieve any goal you dream of, anything that you set your mind to. If you can have this mindset, then figuring out the how becomes a walk in the park. So keep watching to unlock the secrets to living a life full of potential and amazing friendships. A life where you're not just successful, but also really happy and in tune with what you're meant to do. Bismillah. Imagine this, your mind is this super busy factory, constantly making thoughts and ideas. In this factory, there are two managers. Let's call them team up, and team down. Now team up, they're your cheerleaders. They're the ones that pump you full of good energy, pushing you to chase after what you want. They're always chanting, you can do it, you can do it, go for it, yeah! Then there's the down team. They're more cautious, sometimes holding you back, pointing out the things that might go wrong, and sometimes filling your mind with doubts. They're the ones that often whisper, maybe this isn't the right time or what if things don't work out? But here's the greatest part. You are the boss of this amazing factory. You decide whether you want team up or team down. You decide whether team up or team down leads the way on any day. They're both always ready, just waiting for your word. Lean into negativity and team down takes it over. Make everything seem gray and full of doubt. But the moment you choose positivity, Team Up jumps in, turning your day into one filled with hope and action. However, the important thing to remember is the manager you listen to more will become stronger and start to dominate the thought factory in every way. So what's the smart move? Show Team Down the door. Seriously, you don't need that kind of negativity in your life. Embrace Team Up completely. Just let him guide your thoughts and actions, leading you towards a life of success and fulfillment. The Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever decided to do a good deed, but he didn't do it, then Allah records it with himself as a complete good deed. And if he decides to do it and actually does it, then Allah records it with himself as 10 good deeds, up to 700 times or even many, many more. If he decided to do an evil deed, but he didn't do it, then Allah records it with himself as a complete good deed. And if he decides to do it and actually does that bad deed, then Allah records it as one evil deed only. You see, life is like a battlefield in your mind where shaitan is constantly trying to pull you down like your own team down, suggesting that you might fail or that you might not be good enough. But we have a powerful shield. Allah's guidance. It fuels us to stay positive and hopeful, building up our inner team up with patience, thankfulness, and strong faith in Allah's plan. Our beloved Prophet lived with an unbeatable spirit. He faced tough times with hope in his heart and a positive mindset, always seeking Allah's guidance to go through life's challenges gracefully. So how can you bring this into your life? It's quite simple. You need to consciously ignore the whispers of team down and listen to the encouraging whispers of team up so that you're charged up by the positive energy that comes from remembering Allah. All right, time to take this to the next level. You have recognized team up and team down playing their parts in your life and you've understood it by getting some deep insights from our beautiful Dean. Now here are some tips that can help you to make your team up much, much stronger. Number one, create a success mindset. Shift your focus towards thoughts that create success, whether you're at work or at home. When faced with challenges, constantly remind yourself, I will 
win, inshallah. Pushing aside any thoughts of failure, approach every challenge with a strong, I can do it, inshallah. Islam teaches you to strive for excellence. The Prophet ﷺ said, when any of you prays, he should ask for Jannatul Firdaus, for it is the highest part of Jannah, and above it is the throne of Ar-Rahman, and from it gush forth the rivers of Jannah. So never settle for just being average and adopt a mindset that pushes you towards achieving grand success, inshallah. Number two, recognize your value. Always remind yourself that you are capable of doing anything, even when you're doubtful. Successful people aren't supernatural. They are people who have developed a firm belief in their own abilities. Success isn't magical. It's born from deep, unshakable confidence and constant effort. Islam encourages you to never sell yourself short, to recognize your potential and to work towards reaching it. As Ali radiallahu an once said, your remedy is within you, but you do not sense it. Your sickness is from you, but you do not perceive it. This means that the way to your success lies within you. You only have to believe in yourself and you will find it inshallah. Number three, aim for the stars. For truly great success, your beliefs and goals must be huge. You need to achieve big ideas and big plans because more often they are just as achievable as small ones. Islam inspires you to reach for the highest levels of success, both in this life and in the hereafter. Allah mentions in the Quran, Indeed, Allah has purchased from the believers their lives and their properties in exchange for that they will have paradise. They fight in the cause of Allah, so they kill and are killed. It is a true promise binding upon him in the Torah and in the Injil and the Quran. And who is truer to his covenant than Allah? So rejoice in your transaction which you have contracted. And it is that which is the great attainment. So don't ever think anything is too small for Allah. Give yourself to him fully. Believe in Allah and in yourself and you shall succeed both in this world and the hereafter, inshallah. All right, it's time to end this. You've been soaking in all the life-changing tips, I hope, and now it's time for you to make them a part of you. Think of this as the moment when everything clicks. You already have the solution inside you, just like Ali radiallahu an taught us. It's time to find them, let them shine and aim for the stars. So get ready for an amazing transformation. Embrace the lessons with all your heart. Transform into this powerhouse that dreams big believes even bigger and achieves the grandest of victories, making Allah proud and securing success in this life and the next. Remember, the world needs the best version of you. So step up and shine brightly, leading the way in solving the world's biggest challenges. Stay blessed and stay positive. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon to get notified for more amazing content. And don't just sit on these insights, take action right away. May Allah smooth your path, fend off the shadows and guide you to the ultimate win, a spot in Jannah surrounded by positivity and success. Ameen. I'm eager to hear your thoughts on this. What resonated with you? What would you like us to explore next? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and assalamu alaikum.